VIP. Let's kick it. Hi, this is George. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about green hair algae, how to prevent it, and how to get rid of it. So first, we need to understand the makeup of it and um, why exactly it likes to form in some tanks. Also, why is it that green hair algae doesn't grow on real reefs, but in populated areas like docks where boats are, there's lots of green hair algae. It's mostly based on nutrients. Hair algae depends on um, phosphates and nitrates to thrive on a reef system. Green hair algae also um, hates high pH levels, so it's always good to have your pH anywhere from usually 8 um, to 8.4. On real coral reefs, there really isn't many, or there really isn't much nitrates or phosphates, and that's why it really doesn't occur there. So there's a couple things you need to know to know how to prevent it. First, you definitely want to use RODI water. Um, this is basically filtered water with that's completely clean, um, and usually people with green hair green hair algae problems, um, the first thing is they're using water from the tap, and that creates lots of phosphates, which in turn creates lots of algae. Two, control your nuisance and your algae. Um, keep, in other words, keep your tank nice and clean. Um, a good way to remove nuisance is to use a turkey baster and to, um, to blow on all the rocks and all the things um, to get off any like filter nuisance or anything like that so it can cycle into the filter. So to get rid of it, you can use products. Um, some do work, but most usually just delay the problem. Um, and it's always best to chemically balance your system the way it should to not get it. Obviously, get a good cleanup crew. I'll be making another video on that. Um, I know emerald crabs, which I have one in this tank, love green hair algae. They'll devour it. Um, so just have a good cleanup crew. And also, do water changes frequently. Um, if, you, if you are taking uh, tons of measures, um, you know, so, uh, also having you know, a refugium, that helps a lot with Marco algae um, to help relieve your tank of it. You don't have to do as much, but in general, the best way just to get rid of nitrates is to, you know, do water changes. Do them twice a week, or, you know, do them just to, just to get it lower. Then after that, you know, do once every two weeks, once every three weeks. Also, protein skimmers can tremendously help with the problem. Um, the organic waste that it takes out of your system um, is basically almost like food for green hair algae. Big tip, keep your tank away from the window. Um... That can that can help relieve your tank of lots of algae problems. Um, it's not it's not usually the quantity of light that's the problem. It's the quality. Um, and so, like in the metal halides in my twelve here, I have to change them every nine months usually, just because like it'll start the the rays won't you know they'll start losing. You won't see it, but like you just know, um, and they'll start losing a little bit of what they've been producing, um, and that can definitely affect. Uh, your green hair, green hair algae. So using RODI water, get a good cleanup crew, use a protein skimmer, definitely a good one. Um, those can all help and obviously frequent water changes. Um, those can all help really green hair algae. Um, this is George again. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. <laughs>